Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover least common multiple, also known as LCM. Least common multiples are commonly used when working with fractions as well as other types of math problems, so least common multiples show up in a variety of situations. Now when we're talking about least common multiples, let's break that down and think about what this means. Well, least means the smallest in value. Common, in this case, means that something is being shared. And then multiple, well, we get a multiple of a number when we multiply that given number by an integer. Think multiply or skip count when you think of multiples. Now that may sound a little confusing, but it's actually not too bad. I think an example will make it much more clear. So let's jump into number one, where we have three and six. Let's start with some multiples of three. And remember, think multiply or skip count. So let's write the first five multiples of three, and then we'll go from there. So three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15. So I'll stop there, and then we'll write some multiples of 6 and see if we have any in common. And if we do, we're going to look for the least that they have in common. Now those multiples go on forever. So I suggest writing 4 or 5 multiples for each given number, see if you have any in common, and then go from there. You can always extend your lists of multiples. So let's write some multiples of six. So again, think multiply or skip count. So six times one is six, six times two is 12, times three is 18, times four is 24, and then times five is 30. So we did five multiples for each. Let's see if we have any uh, common multiples. So we have 12 in common. And we also have six in common, but we want the least. So six is going to be the least common multiple between three and six. So I'll put LCM, which stands for least common multiple, equals six. Let's try another example and move on to number two, where we have four and 10. So we'll start with some multiples of four. So skip count, or think of it as four times one, four times two, so on and so forth. Let's skip count for this one. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So we'll write five for that one. Let's do 10 now. 10, 20, and you may notice that we have something in common there, and that's going to be the least common multiple. If you notice that you have a least common multiple, there's no need to keep writing out multiples. We have our answer. So 20 is going to be our least common multiple. So least common multiple equals 20. Let's move on to number three, where we have nine and six. So we'll start with some multiples of nine here. So nine, 18, 27, 36, 45. And now some multiples of six. Six, 12, 18, and we have our least common multiple right here, which is going to be 18. So our LCM equals 18. Now I do wanna mention before moving on to number four, that for these problems, we're going to have an infinite amount of common multiples. Since we have an infinite amount of multiples, we're therefore going to have an infinite amount of common multiples. We can always extend our lists further in order to find more common multiples. But since we want the least, we need to focus on that least. And once we have that least common multiple, we have our answer. Let's move on to number four, where we have 12, four, and eight. So we have 
three numbers and we need to find the least common multiple between all three. Let's start with some multiples of 12. So 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Let's do four now. So four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. And lastly, eight. So eight, 16, 24, 32, and 40. So as we look at these lists, we do have some common multiples, but we don't have any common multiples between all three. And we need a common multiple between all three, and specifically the least common multiple. So what we can do, we can extend our lists until we find that least common multiple. Now the 12s, the uh, multiples of 12, we're already at 60. So let's leave that list. Let's look at the four. We're only at 20 there. So let's extend the lists of multiples for four. So our next multiple is going to be 24. And that's going to be our least common multiple. 24, 24, and 24. So if you don't see a least common multiple, you can always extend your lists until you find it. So for number four, our LCM equals 24. So there you have it. There's how you find the least common multiple. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.